Hi, this is Projector Dude. This is a video demo. This is the Panasonic PD PT RZ 470 UK. This is a laser LED projector, and it is 3,500 lumens. Uh, that's the projector itself. It's fairly quiet. It's on high lamp right now. It's putting out 3,500 lumens. Uh, that's a 118 inch pit. Uh, why I have this projector is it's capable of morphing the picture and adjusting the, the width and the vertical to give me more of an ultra wide screen. Actually, if I move the projector back, I'm capable of filling this whole 120 five inch screen uh, a few projectors do this the uh, Epson 5030 also does that you can get inside the deep menu and morph the picture and make it super wide now I just had a Epson 5050 ultra black here and you could not do that with and it left me with like an over scanned 106 inch pick and I got this because I wanted something bigger so basically, let's go inside. We'll play with the uh, the so menu. This, one, I this, one. this has fifteen hundred hours on it. Uh, you can see this is a uh, Harmony three fifty. And I'm gonna hit menu, and I'm going to come down to position. Click on position. And you'll see aspect is normal right now, but I'm gonna hit zoom. I'm going to click zoom and you'll see the horizontal and the vertical up there. Now, see how the vertical is, I smushed it down. If it was a hundred, it'd be way over scanning the vertical here. And see as I go down. So basically to make this ultra widescreen, to fill this ultra widescreen, all I have to do is pretty much, this is the picture I would have and just move the projector back because it's all the way open right now. It's on telephoto. I mean, it's on wide open zoom. So I just need to move it back and use the uh, the vertical to fill up the whole screen and have everything just come out off my 1080p Chromebook. It's going to come out and ultra wide screen. And it does look a little different. I mean, but it's nice to have a full screen. But I'm going to come down to the horizontal. You see what I'm talking about. I actually, you're over skating the horizontal a little bit. So I'm going to come down with the horizontal. You see how the picture gets smaller that way. Not all projectors do this. It's one of the reasons I sought this projector out. So basically, when the picture, you start losing picture at the end of it, which comes out to like 107, 106. Then I'm going to come back to the vertical and I'm going to fill it all the way back up. There we go. So basically this on this screen, basic 16.9, I should with a little bit of overscan, I can do 104 to 106. Uh, being able to get inside and do the internal zoom and do the, the vertical and the horizontal pixels makes a big difference it, it lets you fill up a wider screen make more of a wide screen like i said there's a, a bunch of projectors out that will do well actually not a bunch the ones i've run into are mostly the epson the 5330 uh, but if you're going to buy a projector that's going to do this i knew this panasonic did this so basically i sold the 5050 i had and i actually had a few of them and i was keeping one for myself but I don't know. I, I made 900 bucks on it, so I sold it. Projectors come and go here. Uh, but this has a really good uh, pick. It's really hard to dial in. You really got to know what you're doing. But you can see how bright and punchy the, the colors are. Here's the... Uh, why is the damn... Huh. I have no idea why the uh, the lamp is lit on this, but you can see 
how bright this is in the room because it's so once it's basically for some reason my S9 Plus has its photo light on and it really doesn't do anything to mute the picture well this is the 1080p and the colors are off the hook and I mean you can see the lights on and it doesn't really mess with this picture at all which is pretty cool it's never done this before Uh, but here's the uh, here's the controls on this puppy. Basically, it has one HDMI, and you can use the DVI with a DVI adapter. It's just a little longer than four or five bucks on eBay or Amazon. Just make sure you get a DVD D. Oh, uh, it's fairly quiet. It does. It has lens shift here. So you loosen a little joystick. Uh, counterclockwise and you tighten it clockwise so you get to where you want to go. It's got really good optics on it. Panasonic's always have a good uh, good optics. Like I say, this is basically what I'm using now. I'm 